Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Friday, November 29th, 2019. Got a free pick in college football coming up in Friday's action in just a moment. Hope you made it through your Thanksgiving. I thought I was going to get this done a little bit earlier on Thursday night, but I got to be honest, uh, the tryptophanic bliss that I slipped into, like most of us do after we've had some turkey, uh, put my butt dead on the couch and zoning in and coming back. And then I turned on the TV and there's Godfather 2. So here we are coming a little bit later than we thought we would, but we're still here to deliver what we hope is the goods for Friday's college football. Real quick note before we get to the free pick, of course, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, you click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, use those free 60 bucks for any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster for that matter. And it comes with the Doc Sports guarantee. Again, free $60 account. All you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. Free pick winner here last night with the Saints. We'll look to keep it going on Friday with the college football. First, a real quick note. I have five college football plays, one on Friday, four on Saturday, seven unit play that goes in this five play report, all available right now at DocSports.com. Also, three more NFL plays. We We've got a couple from Sunday. We got the Monday night game, uh, the Sunday top play, a six unit side. So don't miss out. Eight plays to go over at docsports.com with our football package. And uh, we're hitting about 65% with our college and pro football combined over the last five plus weeks going into our sixth week. Uh, we did have a small play loser like yesterday with the Dallas Cowboys. Holy crap, were they terrible uh, in Buffalo? I tell you what, they took it to them after that opening drive by the Cowboys. They were out coached, outplayed and everything else. So anyway, uh, eight plays remain, including the five in college football. One goes on Friday. Don't miss out on that. And then, of course, uh, listen, I wanted to tell you we're four and one the last couple of days on the college basketball hardwood. Uh, we've won the top play both of those two days, and I've got my first seven-unit play of the college basketball season going today on Friday. It'll be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, DocSports.com. Seven-unit college basketball play available on Friday morning morning. NBA at 1 p.m. Eastern, NHL post at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the football, by the way, you can go grab it right now as we speak. They've been posted since Wednesday night. All right, let's get to the free pick for today. It is Friday's matchup between Texas Tech and Texas. Hey, by the way, I didn't mention this before, but we had one future that we gave away over at DocSports.com before the season began. It was an eight unit play Texas under nine wins they're six and five they're not even going to get to nine so we're going to cash that ticket and as we said we thought they had maybe eight wins in them this season at the most and so it would have taken 10 wins to beat us because a nine win season would have meant we at least got our money back well we don't even have to worry about any of that because Texas has five losses in the L column and uh, we're cashing when that season's over we're cashing that eight unit futures ticket under nine wins on Texas however we like the Longhorns in this spot laying the points they're laying about 10 listen those first seven games they were putting up over 40 points per game on average all of a sudden the offense hasn't scored as much but they played some tough opponents I mean most of their losses have been by one possession you they lost to LSU 45 38 they lost to uh TCU was a 10-point loss. They lost to Oklahoma by seven. They lost to Iowa State on the road by two. So you got three losses there on their six and five season that were within one possession of being a potential different outcome. We're glad they lost them. Of course, we had the under nine wins. Uh, but in this particular game, I think they get right back on track finally to end the season, to end the regular season, and are able to pounce on Texas Tech and win this game by at least a couple of touchdowns. Again, they're laying 10 here. Uh, Texas, we thought they were not quite as good as the hype before the season and right now we don't think they're as quite as bad as what a six and five record would indicate i think we get it together if you're the texas longhorns here and you go on to at least again a two touchdown win and a cover uh, covering that 10 point spread so our recommendation on friday our free pick on friday's card is the texas longhorns minus the points over texas tech don't forget Eight plays to go. College football, five plays, one on Friday, four on Saturday. We've got three plays left in the NFL, including Monday Night Football. Seven-unit college football yet to go. Six-unit NFL yet to go. And we're 65% winners over the past five-plus weeks. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs-up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritz for DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column. I will be here Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, excuse me, 10 p.m. Pacific at the latest with 
Saturday's report, including a free pick from Saturday's card. Check out VSEN, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. I'll be in studio as I am every single Friday with Patrick Maher. And again, we'll talk to you again Friday night, 10 p.m. Pacific. Let's put them in the win column on Friday. We'll talk to you then.